Hello, my friends. Today, it has been reported that the Russian Black Sea Fleet has deployed three submarines with cruise missiles to sea. The enemy has deployed all three submarines equipped with cruise missiles that are available in the Azov Black Sea region. Sometimes the Black Sea Fleet is called a submarine fleet. Now, that's true. As you can see, many ships have been sunk by Ukrainian naval drones. To show they still have a fleet, the Russians have decided to use submarines. At the time of creating this video, a massive shelling is not taking place, but uh, we'll soon find out how events will unfold. Uh, now let's look at the situation along the front line. Unfortunately, the Russians continue to advance in the Pokrovsk direction. Experts are already saying that the Russians has once again uh, been underestimated and so on. Overall, this situation is critical and today the Russians are gradually approaching Novogrodivka. It's also possible that the Russians will try to move immediately towards Grodivka. Today, the battles are recorded in the area of Timofievka and the village of Vesele. If they manage to advance here, it could seriously bring the front line closer to Grodivka. Uh, currently, the distance here is 4 kilometers and 200 meters and around 5 kilometers to Novogrodivka. Meanwhile, the Russians are continuing their assaults, uh, attacking uh, Zhelanne, uh, then Kamushivka, and also continue attacks near uh, Yasnobrodivka and Kalinove. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as previously stated, there was supposed to be a strong defensive line behind the water barrier. But, as we see, it seems it doesn't exist. However, it's important to know that near Vozdvizhenka and Novoalexandrivka, the Russians haven't had success for quite some time. The Ukrainian forces are trying to dismantle all their groupings here to prevent them from advancing to the highway. So far, they're managing to hold the defense. But after the protests in Donetsk about the lack of water, Putin asked Pushilin to pay attention to this issue. for 10 years it wasn't needed, but now they remember it and then they have no water. In the Kurakhve direction, the Russians are assaulting Krasnohorivka and the battles for Poroskovivka and the village of Kostantinivka continue. Despite the fact that the battles for Krasnohorivka are nearing the end with the Ukrainian forces holding only their outskirts, our soldiers are not in a hurry to retreat and continue to destroy the advancing Russians. Over the past day, the front line has remained unchanged. In the Vuhledar direction, the Russians are not conducting assault without reason. Uh, they have made significant progress toward Velika Novosilka, effectively preparing a staging area. They are now preparing for new offensive actions, bringing in new reserves and regrouping. I think everyone remembers the video showing the Russians in Staromayorsky making bread from grain to a wet starvation as the approaches to the village are controlled by Ukrainian FBI. Drones. The Russians are now trying to secure positions as close as possible to later launch attacks on Velika Novosilka. Uh, meanwhile, assaults on the village of Vadiane continue, but there have been no new changes along the front line there. In the Zaporizhia direction, 
The Russians continue their attempts to push Ukrainian forces out of the liberated section of the front. They are conducting attacks near Robotina and trying to break through to Malatokmachka and Novo Andreevka. Although there have been no ch new changes along the front line over the past day, the situation remains tense with no decrease in the number of Shalin. Additionally, new details um, have emerged about the situation at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Reports indicate that the Russians are not wasting time and are seriously entrenching themselves to prevent their Ukrainian forces from liberating the plant. Russian military forces are digging trenches around the cooling pond of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. New detailed satellite analysis shows that a significant area of the plant itself is becoming more militarized. There are not only trenches such as on the dam of the cooling pond, but also fortifications that could be used as positions for deploying heavy military firepower. We don't yet see this heavy weaponry, but the fortifications are being built for a reason. The Russian armed forces continue to threaten the safety of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. These events are causing deep concern, says Jan van de Putte, senior nuclear specialist at Grand Peace Central and Eastern Europe. In the Kherson direction, intensified shelling of the right bank continues, but no new offensive actions have been recorded and the front line remains unchanged. In the Toretsk direction, the Russians are advancing closer to Toretsk through the forested areas with each passing day. Additionally, Shalon with cap bombs continues unabated. There are assaults on Zelizne, Pivdenne and in New York areas. While there have been no changes along the front line over the past day, the Russians are trying to push forward position by position. Therefore, it's possible that there will be new changes changes along the front line in the near future. Completely stopping the advance hasn't been successful so far. In the Chesivyar direction, uh, the Russians continue to assault Grigorivka to extend the northern flank to encircling Chesivyar. There are also ongoing attempts to expand their control territory on the outskirts of the city. However, there have been no new changes along the front line over the past day. In the Siversk direction, Russians have been relentlessly attacking Verkhnyokamensky for several weeks. Recently, they managed to push the front line right to the outskirts of the village. However, they haven't been able to advance further. The Ukrainian forces are striving to destroy all advancing groups. Uh, battles are also ongoing for Ivano Daryevka, and reports from the field indicate that uh, the attacks near the village of Parayizne have brought the Russians some success. They managed uh, to reach the outskirts of the village. Overall, the fighting continues. In the Krimina direction, uh, battles are taking place uh, near Nevske and in the Serebrianka forestry. However, the intensity here has decreased again with only a few attacks per day. The front line remains unchanged. In the Svatov area, assaults on Stelmachivka continue because the Russians have uh, moved close to the village, worsening the situation there. However, they haven't yet been able to fully capture it and the battles are ongoing. Attempts to push the front line near Novosergivka continue with assaults on the village of Makivka as well, but the front line remains unchanged. In the Kupinsk direction, the Russians have also quieted down, showing no significant activity. Assaults are recorded only near Sinkivka, but nothing has changed there. The Ukrainian forces repel all attacks and Shalin continues as before. In the Kharkiv direction, the Russians continue to assault Holoboka, suffering heavy losses daily. Despite this, 
they keep sending fresh reserves so the attacks persist. Additionally, attempts to break through to the settlement of Lipsy have resumed, but the Ukrainian forces are repelling all attacks there as well. In Vovchansk, battles for the northern part of the city continue. Unfortunately, the Ukrainian forces haven't been able to fully expel the Russians, leading to ongoing street fightings. Meanwhile, uh, the USA is allocating a new military aid package. The USA is providing a new aid package to Ukraine worth uh, $200 million, which includes air defense interceptors, ammunition for hammers, anti-tank weapons, and more. Additionally, Germany and Denmark have delivered eight Leopard 1A5 tanks with spare parts. Furthermore, the USA is allocating another aid package worth $1.5 billion under the US aid program, which will include equipment and ammunition. As seen, assistance continues to arrive, although it's still insufficient to completely stop the Russians and turn the front line around. And that's all from me. So please. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest news. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.